Hey, Forrest here. Nothing like getting paid. And with ICCU's mobile app, I can deposit checks or accept Zelle payments so the money hits my account fast. I just wish there was an app for mowing the rest of these lawns. Right now, Lithia Ford of Boise is buying used vehicles. How much you want for the SUV? Uh, I don't know. Well, Lithia Ford will give you more than that. How much more? More than you think. I'm not thinking anything. I'm thinking you might get even more than that. See how much more you can get at Lithia Ford of Boise. When it comes to concrete, we've got you covered. Ropepaint.com offers custom concrete coating services for your garage, business, warehouse, and more. And we do it in one day. We are your complete concrete coatings solution. This is Bronco Nation News Live. The best interviews, the most informed opinions, the latest breaking news, all from the top Boise State insiders. B.J. Reigns with another edition of Bronco Nation News Live. Well, we have made it to Las Vegas Stadium Swim, Circa Resort and Casino. Not the perfect pool day today, a little overcast, a uh, little cooler, but uh, it's always a perfect day to be out of Stadium Swim because the pools are heated, the games are on. It's an amazing spot. You need to get out here and check it out. Circa Resort and Casino Stadium Swim. We're happy to be here. A couple days of coverage for the Mountain West Tournament. You got the cabana. You got the uh, private spaces. It's a perfect spot. If you're looking, if you're a sports fan, which you are if you're watching this, you need to be out here at uh, Stadium Swim at Circa Resort Casino on Fremont Street. And they're hosting us here for the next couple of days. We'll be at the sports book tomorrow. And we'll be uh, back here on Friday. Really looking forward to this. Six heated pools. And here to uh, kick off the show and help us tell us a little more about it is uh, Esteban Salcedo. He's the uh, VIP pool host here, man. We appreciate you coming on. How's it going? Good. How are you guys? We're doing great, man. We appreciate you for coming and uh, telling us about uh, this amazing place here right off the bat, man. Uh, give us the gist. Fans back in Idaho, why do they need to come down here? Oh, it's it's a magical place. When this place is here, it's full of people. The atmosphere is absolutely amazing. All six pools are going. All 28 cabanas are at full capacity. The owner suites are going crazy. Man, you need to come and join. You got to join us. Now, I came down for the Super Bowl, and I watched it from this exact spot. I stood here, had the perfect view for the Super Bowl. That was an awesome thing. But I know March Madness, the next couple of weeks are going to be huge for you guys. Oh, yeah. The 16th through the 19th is going to be amazing. And then the weekend after that, it's also going to be amazing as well. Yeah, what I tell you, there's, there's different levels, different pools. You mentioned the cabanas. What are all the different? Uh, there's some hot tubs over there. What are all the the different things that you guys have here? It's not just like your traditional go to Vegas and there's one pool. Oh no, yeah. So on the upper level we have two pools. Down below we have four pools with two jacuzzis, and then we also have a casino downstairs with three kiosks. I do like the uh, now the high roller area over there is a little higher than my limit, but so uh, you guys have the. <laughs> I mean, there's blackjack tables next to the pool. I mean, that's pretty amazing. Oh yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. You got the sports get, uh, lines going. There are some kiosks, right? If folks want to make their bets and things. Yep. Uh, and then what are the different levels of uh, you know reserved areas in terms of the the, the day beds or the, the couch area here? Tell us about some of that stuff. So down below we have day beds. We also have day beds up above. Uh, we also have the water couches. The water couches are amazing because they're inside of the pool. So you can just be chilling on a hot day, have your feet inside, want to take a quick dip. That is pretty nice. Yeah. I'm usually jealous of those people when I'm in the pool there. What, what do you call this one here with the kind of uh, three-sided couch here? These ones right here are the yeah. pool boxes. We got four of those. Okay. And those are usually the ones that go up. They they uh, sell out quicker than, than the, uh, the cabanas. And you got a couple of the uh, swim-up bars? Yeah, we have a swim-up bar here in the uh, west side and then also on the east side. What's uh, And then uh, you said you have, what, 26 cabanas? 28 cabanas. Okay. And what's is there, do you know the website offhand that uh, folks can go to reserve all that? Or? Yeah, uh, you can go to Circa Stadium Swim. Um, and then also we also, we also have the, uh, the owner suite. The oh, owner yeah, tell us about are, those. So we got, that, That's more our area, the uh, owner suite area. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that's right in our price range. But uh, tell us about those. Yeah, so the owner suites, it's pretty much like your own little party. You got your own little lawn inside your own personal bathroom. And you can fit up to a group of 25 plus. Wow. 
This place is, uh, how long have you worked here? Uh, it's going to be a year now. Wow. What do you, uh, I mean, uh, there's worse places to come to work, I guess. But uh, <laughs> what, what is it like when all the games are on? And I assume for March Madness, there's going to be, you know, four games on at one time. This place is going to be crazy. Oh, we can we can split the screen up to 10 games. Uh, we're going to have all the games on the screen. It's going to be such a amazing. Yeah, you got to come out. You got to see it for yourself. Okay. Website one more time. Circa Las Vegas Stadium Swim. They can Google it, find it uh, yep. different ways, and they can do the res reservations and all that right on yeah, there. Yeah, they can give us a call and we help them out. All right. So I know it's Fremont Street. Final thing. You know, some people say, oh, we want to stay on the strip. They don't want to make yes. it over here. But this place that Derek has built is uh, unbelievable. I mean, this is just part of it. You guys have the largest sports book in the world yep. inside. Uh, what would be your your pitch if, I, I guess, uh, if you were Derek Stevens or just if you were wanting people to come down here from Idaho, uh, why they should come to this hotel and this pool and, and hang out here? There's nothing like it in the world. You got to come and visit <laughs> us. When we have the games on, the atmosphere, the ladies that work with us, it's such a than experience. Well, Esteban, we appreciate yep. your time, man. Can, uh, thank you so much. Uh, we're looking forward to being here the next couple of days. It's going to be awesome, and uh, hopefully we get some folks from Idaho uh, this summer to, to come down and, and hang out here, man. We really appreciate it. Perfect. Thank there you he guys. is, the Circus Stadium Swim. We appreciate him for coming on. We'll tell you about a couple of our great sponsors and get back to the uh, the live action here, uh, but uh, looking forward to it. Come on down and check it out. We appreciate Esteban for uh, coming on and joining us. Esteban Salcedo, the uh, VIP pool host, did an amazing job. We got Matt Bowser coming on in just a minute, but I do want to thank a couple of our sponsors. Uh, get your uh, comments in. Get your thoughts in. Uh, the Mountain West Tournament starts today. We appreciate Cutwater Spirits, more than 30 flavors of pre-mixed premium cocktails. You can pick one up at your local gas station or grocery store. Rowpaint.com offering that 15% off. ROEPaint.com, 15% off using the promo code BNN15 on your next uh, concrete coating uh, or interior painting project. Lithia Florida, Boise, do what the Reigns family did. Purchase a F-150 from them. Uh, we're very happy that we did, and you can uh, check them out, Lithia Ford, Boise. And, again, they will buy your used vehicle. That's right. They will buy your used vehicle at Lithia Ford, Boise. Uh, check them out there. And, of course, Idaho Central Credit Union powering our road trip coverage. We appreciate Idaho Central Credit Union, again, uh, for uh, getting us on the road here down to uh, Stadium Swim, down to Circa Resort and Casino here for the Mountain West Tournament. ICCU.com, the easiest in mobile e-branch online banking. We hope that you will uh, make the switch to uh, Idaho Central Credit Union today. You can see, again, we're at what a spot here. we got the sports book behind us. We're really looking forward to it, and uh, we're very appreciative and thankful to uh, Circa Resort and Casino Stadium Swim for uh, accommodating us uh, today and uh, again, we're really excited to be here for the next couple of days to preview the Mountain West Tournament, which starts today. The Mountain West Tournament gets underway here in uh, just about uh, less than an hour. You got the first game at 11 a.m., the 8-9 game, Fresno State and Colorado State. Our friend Matt Bouster is going to jump on for a couple minutes here. We're pumped to have him to help us uh, preview the tournament here. Uh, Matt, I wish you were uh, – you're muted, by the way, Matt. Uh, I wish you were down here with us. We had fun last time we were down here, man. But uh, Mountain West Tournament starts today, man. Happy Mountain West Tournament. How you doing? I'm doing good. I will be down there tomorrow for the game. So you will see me tomorrow. Looking forward to it, man. We uh, we had some great memories here at uh, Circa for the uh, contest with Greg McVeigh and uh, Ridley's and yourself. And it was a fun time. So we appreciate Stadium Swim for accommodating us. You already got the, the ACC tournament on, Wake Forest and Syracuse. We got Davidson and St. Bonaventure in the A-10 tournament as well. Uh, what's it like as a player, man, this time of year when uh, you wake up and there's games on all day? There's nothing better. I mean, March Madness is the greatest month of the year by a mile as far as sports go. I mean, it it definitely hinders some of the work, the work productivity, I would say, with so many <laughs> games to watch in the next four weeks. Um, but it's exciting. I mean, as a college athlete right now and a college basketball player, there's no better feeling than March Madness and having a chance to compete at the highest level. What, what are you making? You know, Leon was talking about yesterday just how uh, this time of year, you know, the New Mexico's of the world, the, the Wyoming's, the Colorado States, the, the teams that feel like, you know, they, they, all they, as bad as their season has been, they just have to win a tournament three or four days and they're in the big dance. I mean, what's that like as a, as a player uh, knowing that you could, uh, you know, whatever happens so far, you still got a chance to cut down those nets starting today. Oh, it's a great feeling. I mean, everybody's back to zero, zero, zero. You know, you can talk about the seeds and who gets to play who and who doesn't have to play today. But um, San Diego State's been the number one seed three of the last four years. Obviously, Boise State was the one seed last year. And um, it'll be it'll be a really fun week. And the crazy thing is, is Boise State plays tomorrow at six. So their entire tournament's 45 hours because when they make the title game on Saturday, it's a three o'clock game. So it's it's three games in 45 hours.
That you've talked a lot about the depth being a something you have to be able to have in a tournament like this. But what do you make? You know, last year they won the tournament, as you said. And somebody asked Leon, "Well, what you know, what'd you learn when you won the tournament?" And Leon kind of jokingly said, "Well, I learned that uh, it was we were thankful that Nevada shot missed at the end of the first game. I mean, it's such a fine line in this tournament. Um, but do you think the experience of Max and Naj and Tyson and these guys, Marcus Shaver, uh, Lucas Milner, you know, these guys that contributed in last year's title run." Um, how does that help, I guess, with the nerves and the routine and knowing what it takes to come down here and win? Oh, the, the experience is, is massive. Um, they'll be poised. You know, teams are going to go on runs. There's always people who have breakout games in these kind of tournaments, you know, unsung heroes, if you will. And our experience and our depth, I mean, our starting five has been rock solid all year. They've all been played at a very high level. Buzo's the only one that wasn't on the championship team. But, you know, he's played at, at the highest level. Um, so... I think our experience will really pay off. What do you really? make of – oh, sorry, to cut you off there. What, what do you make of uh, UNLV and Air Force? Uh, we're going to hear from Leon in a little bit, a uh, clip on that, but that game's at 1.30 today, uh, Pacific time, 2.30 Mountain time. But what do you make of uh, two contrasting styles? Boise State did go 3-0 and against those two teams, but what do you make of that matchup? It's going to be a, a tale of two different teams. you got the athletic, quick playing, more individual, pick and roll, dunking, you know, UNLV with really good – shot makers and ball handlers versus the more methodical backdoor slice and dice your air force. Um, I have UNLV winning that game in their hometown. Um, I think it'll be a good game though. And then what would you make uh, if that is the case? UNLV versus Boise State. Boise State did win both the games versus UNLV. The second one a couple weeks ago in Boise was a, a lot closer than some people probably thought it would be. UNLV did hit a couple shots late, I guess, to make the score look a little closer. Uh, but, uh, you know, UNLV won in Reno a couple days ago to help Boise State get the two seed. They're obviously, if they win today, going to come in with a lot of confidence, a winning streak, and they'll be feeling good tomorrow night. So I think that's going to be a tough game for Boise State. Yeah, you're playing UNLV in Vegas in the first round. I mean, that would be that would be a very difficult draw, but there's no easy draw. I mean, you got New Mexico and Utah State in our side of the bracket in the first round. I mean, that's that's wild to even fathom. And then San Jose State has been great all year. You know, is going to play against Nevada. I mean, it's I haven't felt it like this before, but it's one game at a time, one play at a time. Um, and I'm excited. I don't think the depth. I keep hearing the depth, the depth, the depth. When you're playing and you know your entire career and getting to March Madness is on the line, you don't think about depth. Um, when I, when we were there playing, I played 34 minutes the Thursday. I played 34 minutes Friday, and I played 53 minutes on Saturday when we win the title. I wasn't thinking minutes or fatigue or anything like that. You just you mentally plow through it, and that's what they've that's what they'll do. What uh, obviously you know not getting in foul trouble. I mean the obvious ones, but uh, what do you what you know? For, for Boise State, you've seen them play all year. I mean, what, what's key, whether it be for UNLV or who they would play in the next round? I mean, what's – obviously, you need your, your best players. You need Max Rice and uh, to be shooting, you know, from the outside. You need Shaver to, and uh, Degenhart to find that outside stroke. But uh, what's key, you think, for Boise State to try to make a run here? They got to they gotta attack from different ways. You got to get the ball inside. When Tyson's shooting the ball 60% from the field, he needs more shot attempts. We need more free throw attempts. We can't just settle for threes because if we're missing, it's going to – it's going to be tough. Um, Shaver's taking a lot of heat, you know, some of his shooting percentages. He's our leading rebounder and our leading steal guy, and I have a feeling yeah. he's going to be very assertive. And Shave's going to be shaved this week. Um, but, you know, Max has been fantastic. The team's been great. I think they have to be able to attack from multiple ways. You know, I want to really look at that assist-to-turnover ratio. I know Burns will be on him. Winning the rebound battle is going to be huge. Um, but I hopefully we, we can score in multiple ways and be, be on the attack, you know. What do you make? You said you're coming down tomorrow. I mean, a lot of fans obviously came down last year. Uh, I think the ones that came and saw them win the tournament said, oh, i got to come back again next year. And then the ones that didn't come and saw them win the tournament, I think some were jealous they weren't down there and said, i got to get down there next year. Boise State, you know, obviously backed that up as the number two seed. But, uh, you know, it sounds like you would hope Boise State has a pretty good crowd uh, for this tournament. I'm, I'm optimistic that we're going to travel well. And I mean, and being there last year, I mean, there's thousands and thousands of opposing fans, San Diego state, the whole, you know, side is red and black. So I'm hoping Boise state can represent. And if you're still debating it, it's a nine hour drive or a quick flight. I mean, yeah, you won't regret it. It's hey, amazing. I'll tell you this. My wife was looking into it. You can work a full day on Friday. There's like a 6 p.m. flight on Southwest. You can work a full day on Friday. Get down here. I think it lands at 7:30, and the game Friday is not till nine. And you can take one night in a hotel, of course, probably hopefully here at Circa, 
and then there's a 930 flight or something back Saturday after the game. If you really wanted to do it, you could go down and back and see two games and only need one night hotel. There are ways to do it, Matt. There are ways to do it. You know, there's a will, there's a way, and it's it's magic down there. I mean, there's a lot of energy this month in Vegas. Well, Matt, they hooked us up here. We got a cabana back here. I mean, was the limo waiting for you? The, the limo was not here on this trip. Oh. No, we decided to, uh, to to let some other folks that might uh, need it uh, more than us. But uh, no, we uh, we're living like Matt Bowsher. They got the owner's suite over here, which they said is available as well. But uh, we appreciate it as always, Matt. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Hopefully, we see you Friday and Saturday as well, man. And uh, and I, I, I uh, tell folks all the time, but uh, you, you know, become a great friend, and I appreciate what you've done for Bronco Nation News. And it's been fun these last several years to uh, get to know you, man. And, and I'm glad we're working together. And, and you do a great job on these uh, shows with the insight and stuff. So thank you uh, personally from me, for, you know, publicly for for what you're doing yeah. for me. And we love having you on these shows. And uh, get rest up the vocal cords, drink some tea, whatever you got to do today, yeah. man. And we'll see you down here tomorrow. Thanks for everything you do for Boise State, BJ. Appreciate, appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. Hey, check him out. Boucher Real Estate. We appreciate him. And, uh, again, Matt, uh, thanks so much for your time. Boucher Real Estate. BoucherRealEstate.com. Make sure you check him out. Number one ranked realtor in the Treasure Valley and is even better dude. BoucherRealEstate.com. Make sure you check him out. Matt Boucher, he is the best in the business. Hey, are you looking for uh, some new gear for the tournament? The Blue and Orange Store can help you out. The Blue and Orange Store.com. Free shipping any order over $40. Or you can go in there, the second floor of the Boise Town Square Mall, pick up your gear in person. The Blue and Orange Store, theblueandorangestore.com. Ridley's Family Markets, shop ridleys.com. Check them out. And we still got a lot to get to, so don't go anywhere. This is going to be an extended show here. We got another guest coming on, uh, Rob Doster from the Field of 68. We're going to have some fun here and show you some more of Stadium Swim. But uh, shop ridleys.com, 13 locations across the state of Idaho. Make sure you uh, Download that app, the Ridley's app as well. ShopRidley's.com will get you more information. If you're a business owner, which I know a lot of you are, 229-8222, UnitedCommercialInsurance.com. The best in business insurance. They can write business policy insurance in 44 states around the country. 44 states around the country. Uh, United Commercial Insurance. Dot com And, uh, again, they're a big supporter. We appreciate them. And if you're looking for uh, a dentist, how about Boise Dentistry Co.? BoiseDentistryCo.com. Dr. Miner and his staff, they do a tremendous job. So check them out if you're looking for a, a new dentist. And uh, check them out, BoiseDentistryCo.com. We bring in uh, – by the way, come tonight. If you're in, if you're watching us, I know Melinda Draper, I saw a few of you. Uh, come on in tonight, Circa Resort and Casino. If you're in town or coming down today – we want to see you 7 p.m. tonight. We'll be at the Overhang Bar. We got some awesome swag to give away. It's going to be a lot of fun. So if you're in Vegas, we're going to keep the party going all day, and we will see you tonight at 7 o'clock at the Overhang Bar, and uh, we'll be giving some cool stuff away uh, later on tonight. Uh, we got the man Colin Mitchell here. I know folks uh, always want to hear from Colin, but uh, Colin, Mountain West Tournament starts today. We got three games. Colin and I got to go see the uh, WCC game last night. That was uh, – a lot of fun, Gonzaga, St. Mary's, but uh, nothing better than being in Vegas tournament time, man. No, no, with all the tournaments, and I apologize for my horse. Get it up a little closer there. there battling we go. a little head cold here, but uh, but yeah, no, I mean, Las Vegas for this whole week in general is amazing, and the Mountain West is a great tournament. This year, it uh, doesn't get any less competitive than any other year either. No, three games today. Let's see if we can get the uh, bracket on here to show the uh, three games that are uh, going on today in the uh, men's tournament. You got just here in about uh, 30 minutes or so, right? Top of the hour, Colorado State and Fresno State. Then you've got UNLV and Air Force. Obviously, Boise State will play the winner of that game. And then you've got New Mexico and Wyoming uh, rounding out the day this afternoon. Leon Rice is expected to address the media after they know who they're playing. Boise State is not practicing till 4 o'clock. They're not practicing till after this game today. Doesn't make any sense to practice when you don't know who you're going to play. So they'll uh, yep. they'll have the bracket and uh, or they'll have the, the game and then they'll know who they're playing and then the coaches will regroup and they will practice uh, later this afternoon after uh, that game uh, is over. But uh, I love this time of year, man. We got games on right now. We got Syracuse up four on Wake Forest. It would be the most Syracuse thing ever yep. at 10 and 10 to go on a run here and uh, get to the NCAA tournament somehow. Um, they're going to win four games and be in the first four somehow or something. I don't know. But uh, this is a pretty incredible spot, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Stadium Swim is awesome, and I, I love Fremont Street. I, I love what they got going on here. The The sports book downstairs is also just it, – it's astonishing when you walk in. I, Overall, it's a, it's a great place. If Boise State wins on Thursday, I think we need to have uh, Colin Mitchell do a cannonball or something into the pool <laughs> on Friday. I don't, know if, yeah, we'll I don't know if Stephen Kelly would allow that, the uh, marketing coordinator here at uh, Stadium Swim and, and Circa Casino. But uh, if Boise State wins Friday, we need a belly flop or a uh, – 
cannonball for for Colin Mitchell into the pool on Friday, and and uh, <laughs> someone did say no speedos though. So hopefully that yeah. uh, that won't be an issue. I don't think. Yeah, but um, <laughs> we uh, again we'll, we're here all day. We're here all week. We got uh, Rob Doster from the field of sixty eight coming on in a few minutes. Uh, he's actually going to be out here for uh, the the Sweet Sixteen Elite Eight Regionals. The field of sixty eight is going to be. We're back. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened there with the Wi-Fi. We are dealing with uh, uh, Wi-Fi. That's why we started late. So I apologize for the uh, late start there uh, for a couple uh, seconds on that. But uh, let's see. Let's go back up to the top here. And, uh, yeah, again, sorry. Uh, let's see. Trying to get some of your comments on here. Uh, Nathaniel is turning in, tuning in from the road, coming up on Wells, Nevada. There you go. Safe drive to your clan. We'll see you uh, through – you guys tonight, uh, we've got uh, Kareem the Dream, Rise and Shine, Bronco Nation. Uh, Robbie Robinson saying uh, that does look absolutely amazing. Yes, it does. It is amazing down here. You guys need to check it out. Uh, Black Jack Reigns. I kind of like that. There we go. I haven't, haven't played that yet, but uh, Logan asking if we know what time the game is tomorrow. It is 6 p.m. in Vegas, 7 p.m. back in Boise for Boise State's uh, game uh, tomorrow. First Mountain West Tournament game today, as we said, 11 a.m., Kareem. So uh, here in Vegas, that's noon back in Boise. So that's coming up in about 30 minutes. Um, are you covering the games live today? We're, we're going to go over for the uh, UNLV Air Force game. We'll go over for that game at 1.30, see who Boise State's going to play. Um, may go over a little earlier today. We'll kind of see how it's going. Um, always up for the free media lunch. You know, you yeah, can't, can't turn absolutely. that down. But, uh, yeah, there's some games going on starting at 11. We'll probably get over there today. Uh, Melinda says, Fremont Street was fun last night. Gave some of our friends a tour of Circa 2 so they can join us tonight. That is awesome. Looking forward to seeing you tonight, uh, Melinda. It's going to be a, a lot of fun. Um, Kareem the Dream says, uh, anything is possible. Look at what NAU is doing here in Boise. Wow. Um, let's see, Nathaniel. And that was crazy. They won again last night uh, over Montana, right? Yeah. So they're now in the championship game yeah. as the number eight or nine seed, I think. Yeah, yeah against Montana State. That in, was another great game. In your opinion, if you're a Bronco fan, who do you want to win the game? I think Air Force is the easier game to win. But in terms of what the worst loss would be for Boise State, I think you probably take uh, you know, Air Force would be a worse loss. Um, UNLV on their home floor is a little scary. Um, you probably want Air Force if you had to pick, though. You have a much better yeah. chance, I think, of beating Air Force. Yeah, no, definitely. I, I think Air Force is most definitely the easier win, but UNLV is definitely a better loss if there is one. Um, overall, I think you'd definitely rather face Air Force. Looking forward to mingling with Bronco Nation tonight at Circa. Yep, we're looking forward to having you. That's going to be a lot of fun tonight. should be fun. Nate Staley says he was just at Stadium Swim last week. Uh, it snowed in Vegas last week. Wow, how about that? I didn't realize that. Uh, we could. How often do That's you crazy. go to work uh, for not not for work? Uh, do I go to Vegas a couple times a year? Probably. Love Vegas, love Stadium Swim, and yeah, we try to make it down here if we can. Uh, love your feed, watching from Denver, Aztec fan, but enjoy your insight. Have a blast. Thank you, Brett. Appreciate that. And I think Boise State fans would love to see uh, see San Diego State in this tournament because that means it's in the championship game. Yes, exactly. <laughs> We're gonna have Rob Doster coming on in a couple of minutes. Colin, uh, great work. We appreciate you, man. And uh, keep up the great work as always, man. Uh, yeah, thank you, he's uh, behind the scenes helping us out, doing a lot of good stuff. Uh, again, if you're watching right now, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Bronco Nation News. we got a lot of exclusive content and things uh, coming up uh, throughout the uh, Mountain West Tournament. We're working on a lot of the uh, shorts and things as well to be with the cool kids on TikTok, all those different things. So, um, again... You, if you're watching on YouTube, great. If you're on Facebook or Twitter, please switch over to our YouTube channel. That's where most of our uh, folks are watching. It's youtube.com slash Bronco Nation News. Click the subscribe button. It's easy. It's right there uh, at the bottom of the screen. If you are watching um, on uh, YouTube, make sure you please uh, hit that uh, like button at the bottom of the screen as well. And if you turn on notifications, you can turn on notifications. Then you can know when we are live. And uh, that's the easiest way to do it. Uh, hey, if you're looking for a job, how about uh, Transportation Compliance Service, transcomservice.com. They can help you every step of the way to get into the trucking industry. If you're looking to uh, uh, look for a new job, look no further. They can help you out the permits, get you towing that big rig on the screen, the Amazon truck in your neighborhood. You name it, they can help you out at uh, transcompservice.com. I mentioned uh, Timberstone Golf Course. We got the uh, BNN Golf Tournament coming up. We're running out of space, so if you want in, now's the time. BroncoNationNews.com, click on the Golf Tournament tab. BroncoNationNews.com, click on the Golf Tournament tab, and you can uh, be 
registered and we'll get you out. We got a lot of cool things we're going to announce once basketball season's over about the breakfast provider, lunch provider, some of our special guests that are going to be playing in the tournament. We would love to have you guys play uh, June 2nd, Timberstone Golf Course, the second Bronco Nation News Golf Tournament. So make sure you uh, check that out. We got uh, Rob Doster from the Field of 68 going to join us here in a couple of minutes. And again, I mean, look at this view here. This is uh, un incredible. I'll just step out of the way for a second. You got all the games on TV. You got all the uh, betting odds up on the side. You got the pools. I mean, this place really is incredible, and we're very appreciative of uh, them for helping us out here. And, uh, again, we would love to have you uh, join us uh, this year or next year. If you're already uh, – Abe Jackson says, uh, see it circa later today. So uh, if you didn't have a reason already to come, now you do. Abe Jackson is going to be uh, in attendance tonight. We're looking forward to having Abe uh, out here, and that's going to be a lot of fun. I appreciate you for uh, coming over and that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, again, if you know, hopefully you can still decide to come down for the tournament, but if not, we'd obviously love to have you come next year um, and, and stay here at uh, Stadium Swim with us. This is an unbelievable spot. I, I pretty much stood in this exact spot and watched the Super Bowl. I was right here watching uh, the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, came down for fun, and that was uh, a lot of fun uh, as well. So uh, we, we showed, you know, we got some more comments, and again, if you have any uh, comments or thoughts, you know, your thoughts on the three Mountain West games today. Who would you rather play, UNLV or uh, Air Force? Let us know. We'll get uh, your comments on the screen here. We'll let you know, you know, let us know where you're watching from, all that great stuff. But, uh, we're, we're, you know, after the show here, may have a couple hours. We'll see. Maybe we'll take a little time and uh, check out the pools. The pools are heated uh, during, the, uh, during the winter months. They're open 365 days a year, and uh, the pools are heated. So it's, uh, it's a, uh, there's literally no reason not to come here. Um, Kareem the Dream asking for the three winners today. I, I – I, I hate to be that guy, but I like the three favorites probably. Probably got for, uh, Colorado State. Uh, I think they're only favored by two, but I got Colorado State. I think uh, UNLV is going to win, and then I think uh, New Mexico is going to win. But, you know, I think there could be a chance that uh, Wyoming can hang for a while if they can hit some shots. Um, we'll, we'll see how that goes um, later on. I mentioned Rob Doster from the Field of, field of uh, 68 is going to jump on in a couple of minutes. I'm going to send him a text to tell him we're ready uh, whenever he is. Um, sent you email and we're ready whenever there you go. He's going to come on and join us here in a couple of minutes. And again, uh, we, um, we're going to have our normal shows. We'll have Mike Prater tomorrow. We'll have Jay Tust on Friday. Uh, but, uh, again, Boise state will play at six o'clock Pacific time tomorrow. And that'll be seven o'clock uh, in, uh, Boise and, uh, enjoy the seven o'clock one tomorrow. Cause if Boise state wins, the game on Friday night, the semifinal game, does not start till 10 p.m. back in Boise. That's right, 10 p.m. in Boise for the uh, for the semifinal game. So enjoy the uh, seven o'clock game while you can. Uh, unfortunately, if you were the uh, three seed, you would have played at uh, you know the, the first game would have been at 9:30 also. So at least Boise State gets a little bit earlier start for the uh, for the first game, but the second game is is obviously a little later. So. Um, Got to wonder how different of a team Wyoming would be if Graham – yeah, Graham Ike, I mean, he was the preseason Mountain West player of the year. So, definitely, no doubt about it, I think that would have been uh, something where if you had – if they had him, I think – and I think a lot of people thought that he was going to come back later in the season, and then all of a sudden you were going to have a, a you know situation where they were ready to try to make a run at this thing. That obviously didn't happen, um, but I still think that uh, Wyoming is a, a very dangerous team. They're probably as dangerous as an 11 seed as there's been in a long time. You think about some of those terrible San Jose State teams – um, some of the Air Force teams. Um, I mean, you think about uh, those teams for, for a long time. The, 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 the Mountain West has had a lot of bad teams at the bottom of the, uh, you know, bracket. But I think Wyoming at an 11 seed, Colorado State, uh, you know, UNLV, some of these teams in the 7-10 in the game or the 8-9 game uh, could make a run. So uh, I know this guy's jealous, but he'll be down here in a couple weeks to, uh, to join us. I mentioned the field of 68. They're doing outstanding stuff. We bring in our friend uh, Rob Doster. And, Rob, I got your guy Aaron over here. We're having a fun time, and, and uh, I know they're excited to have you come down. They got the owner's suite ready for you in two weeks, man. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just looking at that. That looks unbelievable. Uh, why yeah. are you talking to me? You're not sitting over there by the pool working yeah. on the man? I, I, uh, I should be, man. We got the Syracuse doing a Syracuse thing, you know, going on a run in the ACC tournament, winning a game. But uh, we got all the games on. The, the pools are heated. Uh, the bar is open. I do have a free drink ticket here that I may have to use at some point. So um, I got to work a little bit today. You know, the Boise hey, we State. We got to get you a couple drinks, and we got to get you doing a cannonball off that ledge. What do you? You know, my uh, my uh, 
my guy Colin here, our, my uh, part-time employee, we said if Boise State wins on Thursday, maybe on Friday morning's show, we can make that happen or something. Yeah, there is a <laughs> there is a pool right down here. I don't think it's deep enough, though. It's only about five feet deep or so. But, uh, no, we're we're pumped to be here. I mean, this literally is an amazing view, and uh, it's awesome. It's actually a little chilly today, though. You know, I got the sweatshirt on. It's a little bit colder than you would think for Vegas. But they're they're warming it up for you, man. You're coming out here with the field of 68 for the, uh, for the regional out here, right? Yeah, we'll be out there Wednesday the 22nd through Sunday the 26th. Uh, I can't wait. We're going to be doing pregame shows uh, from Stadium Swim, and we will do be doing like live watch-along kind of deals on Friday and Sunday. It's going to be a blast. I can't wait. Um, it's, BJ, it's my first time I'm going Oh, to wow. I've never been to Vegas. I'm a first well, we, time. Oh, going. my gosh. Not just Stadium Swim, first time in Vegas. Wow. Well, so well, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll alert gonna... the authorities. I'll alert the authorities to be ready. <laughs> I'm just going to be hammering Tylenol before I leave, just so okay. I have all of that stuff flowing through my veins. That, okay, that's got to be the best way to knock down the hangovers, right? Just well, yeah, but be behind my, uh, I guess this is my left shoulder back there. They have the uh, high roller area, the the, the, the high <laughs> limit room for the uh, blackjack tables and stuff. And I think I did see a seat with your name reserved on. I'll it, make so. sure to, you know, what I'll wave as I walk by <laughs> to the five dollar tables. That's what I'll do. <laughs> but I mean, look at that. They got literally there's outdoor blackjack tables uh, where you can watch games and, and sit up, sit in the pool. I mean, this place truly uh, has it all, but you'll be out here for the regional. We fixed the, we fixed the internet issues for you too. They had to get the uh, ethernet port live out here. And we, uh, we, uh, we were the test dummy for you when the, when the real, real big dogs come in with the field of 68 here in a couple of weeks. But uh, where we got John man to talk mountain West basketball for a couple of minutes. The tournament starts today. I know you try to watch all the country. I know you haven't watched, you know, every mountain West team play every game, but uh, overall, uh, what's your take on the Mountain West this year as we get right here in about uh, 10 minutes for the 8-9 uh, game to kick off here in the Mountain West tournament? I think it's a very good league at the top. Um, I think that there was, you know, the the run-ins for some of these teams, like Nevada losing their last two. New Mexico, what did they lose? Like seven of their last nine games. Um, it hasn't been great, and it's kind of taking a little bit of the shine off of the uh, the conference overall. I still think they have a good shot to get four teams in. Um, and, and I think I feel like that's the number that matters, right? Four teams when you kind of get to that level where it's like, all right, this is a real deal conference. This is something we got to take serious. Um, so I still think they have a good chance to get there. Uh, yeah, but it's gonna it's gonna obviously involve Nevada not losing to San Jose State in the first round of that tournament, um, and it's gonna involve probably Utah State finding a way uh, to beat New Mexico. I do think that Utah State needs to win at least one game to have a chance. They have great metrics, man, but it's it's just. When you have two quad four losses and only one quad one win, that's just a very difficult way to convince the committee. They're like, hey, you know what? Let's put you in the tournament. Yep. And, you know, we a lot of the talk has been the bottom of the league, too. I mean, what Tim Miles has done uh, for them to get a first-round buy in the tournament. Uh, he was the coach of the year in the Mountain West. First time they've ever uh, uh, finished above 500 in conference play in like 30 years or something crazy. And uh, to get a first-round buy by in the conference tournament they've never done that at least in the mountain west but uh, uh even like a colorado state with isaiah stevens and tanji and we mentioned before you came on wyoming uh, even without ek has got uh you know had some nice wins winning at the pit um what do you make about the other teams in this league uh because uh it, it, we're all talking about the teams at the top but i think like all three games today could be really entertaining yeah that's the wild part about it right we're like we're in a we're in the situation where there are four teams that could theoretically get in that large. Uh, New Mexico was in the at-large conversation for a large portion of the season. Um, they are the team. If there's like a sleeper, yeah, they'll get hot and they'll find a way to win four games before it. It's probably New Mexico. That's who we're talking about, right? Sure. And they weren't the they weren't the teams that we were talking about heading into the season. It was Colorado State. They were in that conversation. Wyoming. They were in that conversation. So it's pretty impressive, and I think it's a testament to the depth of the conference and the level of coaching in the conference that. You can have a situation where two of the four teams that weren't predicted to be or that were predicted to be at the top of the league aren't. And you're still looking at like we can get three, four, maybe even five teams into the dance. Like look at the ACC, for example. Right. We're talking about how bad that league is because North Carolina has kind of been a mess and Duke has not quite been as good as everybody expected. Well, in the Mountain West, I mean, you just keep trucking along. Yeah. Yeah. And you think about, uh, you know, a school like Boise State, uh, it's obviously the main program that we cover here uh what do you make they were the mountain west regular season champions last year they won the tournament last year uh for the first time ever got a little bit of a tough matchup with memphis they just didn't match up very well with them and lost that game but uh you know boise state loses you know three starters and backs it up with a second place finish uh this year uh the number two seed going into the conference tournament looks like 
Uh, I mean, maybe you would think differently, but it looks like they're probably safe no matter what happens. I mean, maybe if they play Air Force in the quarterfinals and lose that, um, but I, I you know, maybe they go to Dayton, but I think they're at least getting in at this point. But uh, the consistency that Leon Rice has built, uh, I think eight twenty win seasons now here uh, from afar, from a national perspective, uh, what's your take on Boise State? They're just good. They just win. They just know how to play. Um, I, I think it's a testament to uh, not only Leon Rice, but just kind of that Mark Few coaching tree. Right. You, lo- you look at the guys that have left that program, they all tend to have success. Uh, what Tommy Lloyd's doing at Arizona is the one that stands out to me the most. But, um, yeah, Boise State's in. You, you know, you would have to – you would need Air Force to find a way to get to the quarterfinal matchup. You'd have to lose uh, in blowout fashion, and then you would need a number of other bid thieves to pop up, like a North Carolina to go on a run and a Wisconsin to go on a run. Um, and then maybe someone like a New Mexico going from off the radar – to uh, to finding a way to get an at-large bid and being a bid thief, um, there just aren't very many bid thieves around. Like uh, the Atlantic Ten is normally a conference that we we kind of put on par with the Mountain West, right? Yeah, they're they're going to be a one bid league. It just is what it is. They're going to be a one bid league. They don't have any at-large candidates. So um, I do think that that is that's a good sign for Boise State. But I'm not worried. You need like eight teams to jump you if you're not going to get in, and that just that's not the way that it works. In March, like if you're on the cut line, if you're in a, if you're getting projected right now as like an eleven, maybe as a, as a team in the playing game, then you might want to be sweating it out a little bit. But take care of business, win one game, and you're fine. You're dancing. Put I on have your a dancing couple. shoes, Boise. Put them on. <laughs> I'm sure you got a lot of nervous fans in Boise, man. They're always thinking for the worst, so I'm sure they're happy to hear you say that. But they'll be even happier, I That's guess. What fans do. That's what it's. It's all about the negativity. It's like, oh man, I can, this is going to be so stressful. I can't believe this isn't going to work out. How is this going to be a mess? How is this going to? That's just. That's the life of being a fan, man. If it, if it doesn't stress you out, if it doesn't give you those butterflies in your stomach before the game starts, if you can't sleep the night before, you're not a real fan. If you're not costing yourself a good eight hours because you're so stressed <laughs> out about the game the next day, you're not a real fan. As as a uh, Kansas alum, I've I've had all I've experienced that all too much in the NCAA tournament. The highs, the lows. Uh, everything in between. But uh, what do you think the perception is nationally of the Mountain West? And there's a lot of talk about, oh, well, the tournament got – they got four teams in last year, but they went 0-4. And, and there, that's why there's no way the committee's going to give them four again this year. Um, you know, they're tricking the computers with the net ranking and all that. I mean, what do you think the national perspective is of the league? And, and what do you make of uh, the lack of success in the tournament? I, mean, I think this league is like – three and 15 or something going back. And, and, and it's usually because they end in these, you know, they're getting these nine, 10, 11, 12 seeds and playing better teams and losing. Uh, and not a lot of the losses have been upsets, but they just have not had a ton of success in the tournament. I know Nevada made a sweet 16, I think a while back, but uh, what's just your take. And, and, and I should throw in San Diego state when COVID hit would have probably been a number one seed that year. Um, so, I mean, they've had some teams, but what's your take on the league? And, and, and do you think that, is there any talk on the committee, about oh well, we can't give them four because they lost all four last year. No, no, that I mean the committee doesn't pay any attention to that. I, that's just not th- those aren't the conversations that they're having. The conversations that they're having right now are well, Utah State has two quad four losses and only one quad one win. Like how can we let a team like that in if they have this great these great metrics? And frankly, you could say that they're gaming the 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 metrics, they're gaming the net if you want to, and they probably are. That's what you have to do. You have to figure out the ways to be able to get better in those metrics because. That is how you get the. That's what made Tim Miles so effective when he was at Colorado State. He understood how to game the RPI, which is why Colorado State was always like top twenty in the RPI. You you figure that out, and you're going to help yourself out. If you don't, then you're not doing it right, and you're not doing your job right as a head coach. Um, I, I I also think everybody is always going to judge teams and seasons and leagues and conferences and everything based off of what happens in the NCAA tournament, which is it's always I always think that's so dumb, right? Like it's a one game. Sample size. Yep. It's a one game setting. You're not going to be able to figure out like, oh, the ACC was terrible all year last year, and then they got two teams to the Final Four and three teams to the Elite Eight, and we're going to talk like they're good. No, they were terrible the whole whole year, and they got a couple teams that were hot at the right time. Yep, um, got the right matchups or whatever. Yeah, yeah, the right matchups. And I think your point about where uh, where the Mountain West um, ends up getting seated also matters. You have to have that part of the conversation, right? Like you're in Vegas, you're at Circa, you're at a sports book. People bet on games. How many of those games were they favored to win? Probably I know, not a lot of them. Probably not. I know Memphis was favored. It was the 8-9 game. Boise State was the 8. Memphis was a was mm-hmm. a favorite in the game. Uh, they had the number two pick in the draft, and that was just a horrible matchup for Boise State. I mean, it just happens this time of year, right? Yeah, it's just it's that's what makes March great. You know, the NCAA tournament is the best way to determine a champion and the worst way to determine who the best team is. That's just a fact. 
the best way to determine who the best team is is the double round robin that the the Big East plays or the Big Twelve plays, right? Yeah. You go out and play everybody home and away, and whoever's yeah. got the best record, they're going to be the best team. Yeah, it's not, well, you're not going to do it in the tournament setting. It's just it's not going to happen. And which is which is why it sucks. You have to do it because of the money and for teams to play a lie. But if you think about it, you really should auto award your automatic bid for the regular season champion. It's much harder to well, win the well, regular here's, season. Here's than my take, BJ. Tell me what you think about this. If they expand the NCAA tournament, I've said this. I said this over and over again. Okay. What they have to do is they have to give the regular season reg, uh, uh, regular season champions an automatic bid to the tournament. You okay. Give the tournament champions an automatic bid to the tournament, and if you are both of those things, then you automatically avoid playing in whatever the first round play in, whatever you want to phrase it. Right. So okay. let's say they expand to eighty, which means you're probably going to need thirty-two playing games. Right. But are you really getting more teams into the tournament that way, or is it just? I mean, uh, how many more teams are you adding in? I guess if you're taking the the. Well, I mean, and, and all that would affect how many at-large bids you get. But I just don't think – like, we don't need – we really, really, I promise you, we do not need teams like St. John's being locks for the NCAA tournament, which is what it would be if you expanded to 80 right now. Yeah. So I I just – that's where I'm at with it. You know, reward some of these smaller teams. Hey, you expand it to 80, maybe San Jose State gets in. Come on. Yeah, if you go back and look (laughs) – if you go back and look at the the ratings for the most watched basketball games in 2022, two of the top three, including the NBA – where St. Peter's making their run to the Elite Eight last year, right? That's what people want to see when it comes to March. That more than the Blue Bloods. They yep. love these Cinderella stories and create more chances to get these Cinderella stories instead of rewarding all these high major coaches that have uh, incentives in their contracts and all of these programs and athletic directors that end up paying $10 million in buyouts because they make bad hires. You know, don't yep. reward them. Reward the smaller schools. Give it to the little guy. That's what we want to see. We what do you make mark stories? Yep, yep. You know, and, and Leon Rice is a big proponent of changing the format. At least, of, you know, all he cares about is the Mountain West tournament. But he would like to see the Mountain West adopt more of a WCC format where the, the better teams get buys further into the tournament. Uh, Leon Rice would love the, the top nah, two teams. In the, he thinks the top that. two teams should avoid the quarterfinal round. It sounds like you're against that. No, I hate that. I hate that. Play play the games, man. Come on. It's it's the tournament. And, <laughs> so and you don't like how the what WCC does it where Gonzaga and St. Mary's don't have to avoid potentially a bad loss, oh, don't have to play boy. until the semis? It's so dumb. Play a real you're not playing a tournament. Play a real tournament. That's not a tournament. <laughs> play a real tournament. Um no, I, I just yeah, I don't I don't like that. Uh but I think it's better for the smaller leagues, like for the one bid leagues. The Mountain West is in the one bid league. If you're a one or a two seed in the Mountain West tournament, you're 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 dancing. Yep. You know, unless it's a horrible season, you're dancing and you're probably dancing with a pretty good season. Um, so, so what? Speaking of speaking of dancing, then let speaking of dancing, let us know uh, what what do you you know? Boise State's never won a tournament game. They're zero and eight in the NCAA tournament all time. Uh, uh, is this the year potentially Boise State can get their first win? And I guess the Mountain yeah. West in gen in the Mountain West in general, San Diego State's looking good. We mentioned Nevada and Utah State both might be in that first four range. But uh, do you think the Mountain West can can? Shut up the haters a little bit and get a couple of wins here. <laughs> they, I mean, they should. If they're going to do it, this is the year because everybody stinks. You know, look at <laughs> if you're if you're a ten seed, you might get Iowa. You might get Iowa, who got swept by Nebraska. You might get Iowa in the first round as a seven seed. So, I, yes, if it's going to happen, it's going to be this year. And if you don't get it this year, then BJ, we might actually have to have a conversation about what <laughs> Mountain West is bad. Okay? okay, get it done this year and and shut everybody up. That's what you got to do. Well, uh, hey, man, tell us about the Field of 68. I, I watch all the shows in the evenings. I was talking to uh, Terrence when he was doing one of the Boise State games on FS1 a week or two ago. And, uh, you you you, uh, you know, you're putting together an amazing uh, lineup of hosts and guests and shows there. And I've modeled a lot of what I'm trying to do after some of what you guys are doing. And, and uh, it's been a lot of fun to watch you build this thing. But for folks who maybe aren't familiar with your background in the Field of 68, uh, give us the lowdown on how folks can uh, get involved and, and watch a lot of your shows and stuff. Well, first of all, I appreciate that. And second of all, I'm sorry that you had to talk to T.O. because I know that he probably <laughs> just sat there and chattered your ears off because that's what he uh, he tends to do. No, it's um, so what we do, basically, the model we follow is it's called the Field of 68 After Dark. And, and I grew up loving baseball tonight. I don't know if you remember that show, BJ. Oh, yeah. Um, but I, every day in the summer, I would come home 11 o'clock. You put on ESPN and you're watching baseball tonight, figure out what happened in uh, in the world of baseball that day. Because, I mean, I had nothing to do when uh, when it was the summertime and you were coming home. Right. So. Um, that didn't exist in the college basketball space. And it's something that we tried to lead into and try to create. And, uh, and you know, it's worked. We're now simulcast on Sirius XM. We're streaming on the Field of 68 YouTube channel, um, 11 o'clock every night. It'll be midnight some nights during the tournament, uh, especially the nights when we're out there um, in Vegas. You know, you kind of – 
you don't want to be streaming at the same time as the biggest games in the college basketball season. So sure. time will be a little bit different. If you follow us, we'll make sure to keep you guys updated. But it's it's awesome, man. It's fun. I love it. And uh, it's the live it's live broadcast experience. There's nothing better than it. And I got to say, I do have a little bone to pick because I was told last year when Boise State was playing in Portland, I was not allowed to do any live streaming from the arena, even after the games were all over. And so I had to go back to my hotel and do a post game show. And then I turn on the field of 68 from some regional and you guys are sitting there courtside uh, doing some sort of post game show. So uh, as typical, the national media getting, uh, you know, getting all the all the all the uh, all the love. You just got to you got to pull out the big gun. Sometimes Jeff Goodman has to go out there and uh, and and. And pull a little weight. I don't know. I don't know why we were allowed to do it. I just asked and they said yes. That's all, that's all, that's all I can do. What do you want me to do? Well, hey, man, we appreciate you coming on. Uh, they're, uh, they got the first drink, I think, already ready for you here at Stadium Swim. It's an awesome time, and you're going to love it. Uh, enjoy your first trip to Vegas. Enjoy Stadium Swim, man. And and uh, maybe I'll give you some tips off air of uh, some things to do around here. But uh, pres- I really appreciate it, man. Best of luck with your coverage moving forward here for the tournament and stuff. And we'll be talking to you soon. I appreciate it, BJ. And, hey, man, congrats on all your success. It's awesome watching you build this thing. Appreciate you, man. There he is, Rob Doster, the field of 68, man. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Rob. Later. Hey, Rob Doster, the best in the business. We appreciate him for coming on. And uh, we got a couple final minutes here, and then we're going to wrap this thing up. We do have uh, one to hear from Leon Rice as well. But uh, uh, we appreciate all you guys for checking us out. As you can tell, it's a little windy. It's a little windy today. But, uh, again, we appreciate uh, all of our great sponsors, ropaint.com. ICCU and, and uh, Cutwater Spirits, and of course, Lithia Ford of Boise, the Blue and Orange Store, and TCS, our major sponsors here. Uh, let's hear from Leon Rice. And if you have any more comments or thoughts uh, on uh, on the game, on the tournament, let us know what channel is the first game on. It's going to be on uh, CBS Sports Network. CBS Sports Network. Uh, James predicting Air Force is going to win by two. We'll see about that. Um, but uh, let's hear from Leon Rice. I know there's obviously a, a lot going on, and let's hear from Leon Rice on just the excitement level of uh, being down here in Las Vegas and being at the tournament. Well, it always does. It gets the the blood pounding and guys are, you know, you play all season for these kind of things. And um, it's a long grind that regular season and and especially league. So, you know, to get to this tournament, I think it's been a much anticipated tournament because of the parity in this league. And, you know, it's going to be interesting to watch every, every single game is, you know, where you maybe toss a coin. I don't know. You know, it's one of those things where you just kind of just see how the dust settles. And because you, first of all, you don't even know who you're playing. It depends on, you know, the outcome of the first games. But uh, it will be interesting. I mean, you, you know, one minute you think, okay, I think this team's going to win. And then the next minute you think, well, I don't know. I think this team will win. You know, so you just got to prepare for, you got to prepare your team like we do. And, not knowing who you're going to play, but focusing on yourselves for a few days and then uh, and then in a hurry prepare for your opponent once you figure out who it is. And as Leon Rice said, they don't know who the opponent will be. It'll be Air Force or it will be uh, UNLV. Probably the home team UNLV, you would think, is probably going to get it done today. But uh, we'll be over there uh, today at uh, Thomas and Mack Center to check that game out. Uh, that game is at 2.30 back in Boise. That'll be on the Mountain West Network today. 2.30 on the Mountain West Network. It'll be uh, UNLV, the seven seed, Air Force, the 10 seed. The first game is, I don't know, Colin, if it tipped off already or if it's about to tip off. I don't know if they get the Mountain West Network streaming here at uh, Stadium Swim, but uh, Colorado State and Fresno State uh, is, oh, I guess it's another hour. I'm off on my, uh, I got the, my, my clock didn't switch on my phone. So I guess it's another hour here, 10 o'clock until that game gets going. Uh, but uh, we appreciate everybody for checking us out. We did get confirmation, by the way. Boise State Athletic Director Jeremiah Dickey uh, will be coming tonight to the uh, party at Stadium Swim, or excuse me, the party at Overhang Bar on the second floor. So if you're in Vegas, if you're thinking of coming, uh, Boise State Athletic Director Jeremiah Dickey will be stopping by, and I believe Jay Tuss is going to do a a live shot for uh, KTVB as well. So uh, it should be a lot of fun this evening, and I'm looking forward to having everybody out here and we'll be out here all week. I think tomorrow we'll be in the sports book. Friday we'll be back out here at Stadium Swim, hopefully talking about a, a win on Thursday night and a semifinal game. So a lot of stuff to uh, get to. We'll be here all week. And, again, we appreciate the fine folks at uh, Circa Resort and Casino Stadium Swim for helping get us on the air here and hooking us up. And um, we're having a lot of fun. So uh, the next couple of days will be uh, 10 a.m. back in Boise. We started a few minutes late today due to some uh, first-day technical issues. But uh, 10 a.m. in Boise tomorrow, Friday. And then hopefully Saturday, if Boise State is in the championship game, but um, got a lot to uh, 
a lot to discuss and a lot to talk about and hopefully a couple Boise State wins here for the next couple of days as they try to lock in a spot in the NCAA tournament. So uh, we appreciate everybody for checking us out today. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're watching on Facebook, you're watching on Twitter, it takes about five seconds. Just go to YouTube, search Bronco Nation News, or you can just go to youtube.com slash Bronco Nation News. Click the subscribe button. We'd love to have you uh, join our channel. We're going to have a lot of uh, content going up there uh, throughout uh, throughout the week. So Mike Prater tomorrow, Jay Tuss on Friday. We may even go live tonight from the party. We'll see how things are going if we get a big crew. But uh, have a great rest of your day. Full coverage coming at bronconationnews.com. And, again, we'll be over uh, this afternoon for that game. We're going to talk to Leon Rice this afternoon. Once they know who they're playing, we'll post that on the YouTube channel uh, as well. So thanks again, ropaint.com, Lithia Florida Boise, ICCU, all of our major sponsors. Uh, for getting us down here and uh, have a great rest of your day. It's windy stuff's falling over. I'm going to uh, end the broadcast here, but we appreciate everybody. Hope you have a great day and we will uh, talk to you soon. Bronco nation news live Bronconationnews.com.